but there's a lot of traffic around the schools, especially in the mornings and the afternoons. Uh, you have to be careful with the children walking uh, because they are unpredictable. Uh, you need to, drivers need to pay attention to, to where they're going, especially when they're approaching a school. Uh, distracting driving is, is always an issue, but particularly in the school zone, parents driving or any drivers going through a school zone need to, to uh, uh, not be on a phone, to be paying attention to where they're going and paying attention to the crossing guard if there's one there. Before you get to a crossing, uh, you're going to see a bright green sign with a, a parent and a child look like they're going across the school. That is a warning sign and right at the crosswalk there's another one. So be on, on the lookout for the crossing guard. If the crossing guard is coming out into the street to stop traffic, then you need to stop so that where you can see the crosswalk. And that gives, that gives children a safe distance to go across within the crosswalk. This is our 49th year of existence. And in 49 years, we have never had a child killed or seriously injured uh, at a crosswalk that is manned by a crossing guard. Uh, our crossing guards are part-time. Uh, they work in the morning, they work in the afternoons. But for many people that become crossing guards, it becomes more than just a part-time job. It becomes a passion. They love their job. That's the reason why some of them, some guards have been here for uh, as much as 40 years. Uh, working a part-time job because they love their job and they love their children.